Microsoft Copilot continues to evolve. In fact, Microsoft announced recently that made over 700 product changes and 150 new features in the last one year made available in Microsoft Copilot. So how on earth do we stay on top of all of these changes? Well, as you know, we've put out a lot of content already on Microsoft Copilot. And today, well, it's no different. We're gonna be looking at six core new features inside a Microsoft 365 Copilot that can help you save time every single day when you're using Copilot. And that's gonna range from new changes in Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Loop, and more. And before we dive in, if you wanna find out how best to use Copilot, why not check out our top five Copilot prompts? You can access it for free today via the download link below. So let's dive into Microsoft Copilot and see what's new. So the first change is coming to Microsoft Loop. And as you know from our past tutorials, we've showed you how to use Copilot in Loop to draft content and more. But what we've also seen in Copilot is the addition of sidebars in other apps like Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Word. And that capability, well, now has arrived in Microsoft Loop. When you load up Microsoft Loop on the web or inside of the Loop app, and you have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license, you'll be able to see an icon to Copilot in the right-hand side of your Loop page. By selecting it, you'll now see a Copilot sidebar that you can now interact with and ask to summarize your Loop pages and more. For example, I've got a lot of information here on Project Green Space. I need to summarize it before a meeting very quickly. Well, let's ask Copilot to summarize this document and simply give it that prompt. And in real time on the right hand side, we'll see that Copilot summarized the key points from the loop page in readiness for my meeting. But we know that Copilot sidebar can also have access to more content outside of Microsoft Loop. So let's ask Copilot to give me a project update on Project Greenspace across all of my files and emails. And we can see now on the right hand side, Copilot has identified project updates across my files and emails. Yes, loop pages, project proposals I've worked on, and even emails from my inbox. I can also ask it further questions, such as tell me more around the Project Greenspace group that I've created to bring together our project. And Copilot will once again as provide more context on that content. And this capability can be handy with your notes and more inside of Loop. I've simply gave Copilot a prompt that based upon this information, and I catch up one of my team members in May, can it help understand the best agenda and points to cover in our next to one-to-one -to -one meeting? On the right-hand side, we can actually see here, each providing information such as the check-in I should also have with Henry, discuss progress and goals, and also revisiting key points that we've also noted from our past meeting notes that I've had with Henry. So the co-pilot sidebar inside of Loop can transform your content, give you context on projects and notes and more. And there's new capability in Microsoft Outlook to have co-pilot schedule your meetings for you. How much time do we spend every day scheduling meetings? Well, I know I spend quite a lot of time doing that and Copilot can now help us out. Here's an email I received from Megan. I'd like to schedule a meeting to discuss these key points. And in a new version of Outlook, all we need to now do is click on the free dot menu, select other reply actions, and then head down to schedule with Copilot. You'll now see that inside of the meeting invitation, Copilot begins to summarize all of the key points for our agenda built on the email that we're also scheduling this meeting from. We can see all of these key points and even a handy summary of the conversation so far to make sure we're all on the same page for our meeting. All we then need to do is click on insert and those points will be added as a meeting agenda as well as that summarization. We can also see it's given us a proposed time and date of the meeting, but I could also select find a time to find other suggestions as well. So Copilot can now begin to schedule your meetings, to provide the summary and agenda points in just a couple of clicks. And you may know that Microsoft Copilot can integrate with Microsoft Designer, which is in turn powered by Dali. It's the ability to create custom images from a single prompt. 
And now inside a Microsoft Teams Copilot chat, otherwise known as BizChat, we can now give Copilot a prompt to create an image. Yes, we no longer need to use personal accounts to access Microsoft Designer. So let's go ahead and add in a prompt into our BizChat experience, asking Copilot to generate an image for Project Green Space with a green park and a city skyline. And we now have four different images that Copilot with the helper designer has created. We can left click into any of these and see the actual image here. We could copy it, take it into other apps or download it to my computer. But even better, we can also ask further questions such as adding a few more people enjoying the park. And then Microsoft Designer will then provide alternative images too. But I know what you may be thinking. It's great to create images inside a Teams chat, but you also work in Microsoft Word. Wouldn't the images work better inside of Word? Well, inside of the Copilot sidebar, there's now been another update. So I was to use Microsoft Designer to create images, which was once promised right at the start when Copilot was first released. But sadly, was not available in the product. So let's give Copilot the exact same prompt, this time bring it into the Copilot sidebar inside of Microsoft Word. And there we go, four different images now created by Designer inside of Word. I like this image here, so I can simply left click it, select insert, and the document will now have the image placed inside of it. Because it's also an image, we can also head into picture format tools inside of Microsoft Word and begin to make changes to make the image look even better for our report. But how quick was that? Creating a custom image for one of your reports with help a designer and co-pilot in just a couple of minutes. And there's now new changes inside of PowerPoint with the help of Microsoft Copilot. We can now use a new capability called PowerPoint Narrator. From a blank PowerPoint file, we can simply click on the Copilot icon and select Create a Presentation About. And now we can give Copilot the direction on what we'd like our PowerPoint to include. With our prompt added into Copilot to create a PowerPoint around Project Green Space scope, we can now see that Copilot takes it away. And in a different way than we've seen before inside a PowerPoint, rather than creating the slides immediately, we can now see them here and even delete particular slides that we don't like. For example, we may not want the project plan because we don't yet know much details on the project. So I'll simply delete that topic. But I can also change the order of the slides by simply dragging and dropping this different content. When you're ready to go, all we need to do is click on Generate Slides. And you'll see that Copilot begins to create a narrative and the slide structure and more. And there we go, we've now got our PowerPoint slides created by Copilot. We can also make more changes and reorder these slides. But if we're happy, go ahead and select Keep It. We can then change the view of the slides into an outline view or even the normal view we see inside a PowerPoint. And here are the slides created with the help of Copilot inside a PowerPoint with the new narrator capability for Copilot. And also let's not forget new Copilot pages capability. We do have a video on our channel covering this in more detail. What this allows us to do though, is take a conversation with Copilot as your chat experience, otherwise known as BizChat, and put it into a collaborative page powered by Loop. Let's get started by giving Copilot a question. So I've started by giving Copilot a question to help me understand some ideas to brainstorm with my team. With a reply given back by Copilot, rather than clicking copy, I'll select edit in pages. On the right hand side, a brand new Microsoft Loop page otherwise known as a Copilot page, is now created to include that content. But I could further begin to also ask Copilot questions on the left hand side, and any replies I get back can also be added straight into our Copilot page once again. This now means that you can take your ideas into a collaborative space, share them with your team later. I'll simply add some more content here, and also share it with my team by selecting the Share button select copy component or page link. All I then need to do is take it into an app of my choice. Let's head into Microsoft Outlook, open a new email. What we can also do is paste in our loop content because this has been generated as a loop page with the help of Copilot. I can now send it to my team. They can make updates and more and get ready for our team meeting. In a couple of clicks, taking something from Copilot 
into a collaborative page to share with your colleagues so you're all set when it comes to brainstorming your ideas. And did you know that Microsoft Copilot in Excel can now understand data that is not number based? Here I have some survey results from a recent business meeting. I've got a meeting with one of my managers in the next five minutes. I need a quick summary of these 20 rows of data to take to my managers. Well, what we can easily do with Copilot is simply ask it to analyze this data and also understand it as well as providing the key areas of interest and also how we can improve our session and any key themes. And here we can see on the left hand side that Copilot now understands the data, where the positive feedback around clear vision, detailed explanations, key areas of interest, but we could improve it by reducing repetition, making sure the content is not too rushed or high level. Now these key points have been taken from 20 rows of data taking just seconds to generate. Now means that we can use data inside of Excel, which is not based on numbers, but also survey results and more. So what do you think about these new changes in Microsoft 365 Copilot? I'd love to know in the comments below. Personally, I think all of these changes are in incremental steps to make Microsoft 365 more powerful than what it was before. For example, we're finally seeing Microsoft Designer in Microsoft Word. Yes, we saw it in the earlier videos, but it was never released. Finally, we now see it live in the product. Copilot Pages allow us to take content and share it with colleagues rather than being stuck inside of a Copilot conversation that really didn't add much value when sharing it with your colleagues. And finally, we see Excel data, not built on numbers, but now text, meaning we can use it for survey results and more, which is what often most of us will also use Excel to do. It's not always based on numbers and formulas. So great changes I think in Copilot, but of course there's more to come. So why not hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we put out a new video showing how you can use the new Microsoft 365 Copilot features as soon as they're released. And don't forget to take advantage of our top five Copilot prompts, which you can download for free today with the link below. Otherwise, well, I'll be seeing you on the next one.